Hello and welcome back to Adventures of Well I'm Me, and today we are going to be playing Iggy's Wrecking Balls on the Nintendo 64. This is part of our uh, Museum of Gaming uh, series, so I've got cables tangled everywhere. I'm just trying to sort this out before I get like halfway through the game and stuff up. Um, yeah, so don't really know what this is about, Iggy's Wrecking Balls. but we're gonna play anyway. Let's just let's just Ready, play as Iggy. Put your game, dude. Race. Easy street. We're just going to go straight into this with like regular difficulty and all that. Um, Tower one, two laps. Grapple up. I have no idea what on earth we even have to do. I don't know how to do it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What, that's it? Fourth place. Okay, that was really quick for some reason. Um, essentially, you run along and grapple with... Ah, uh, was that I was pressing? And it's just fast-paced racing, which is weird. Mind the gap. Okay, so this one's about dodging something, is it? Two, one, go. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. So this is where we have to dodge that jump. Ah. Okay. Oh, that was like one lap. Okay, final lap. Oh no, what did that do? Oh, that took us up. I'm so confused. It's awkward controls, because you like, move forward with the stick going the direction you need to go, but then you change the direction of the stick to be able to launch yourself up. What's going on? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, so it's a very awkward control system, but I think it could work with a bit of practice. Because it's not just about getting as far ahead as you can or whatever. It's about the precision of everything. Oh, wow, okay. So I don't know if I need to like press the controls a certain way each time we do that, but it seems like it. Oh, now I've got to go all the way around here. That's tricky. It's more complicated than I ever would have thought this was going to be. So that's interesting. Like, it's good and bad at the same time. We're not doing too well. But because everyone like starts in a different uh, location, they have an advantage as to whether or not they're going to come in first or not with that end part on the ring. Um, I think that's what I'm finding confusing out of it all. The fact that certain characters are going to be closer to certain parts of the finish line. Like, in one of the previous uh, races, I was kind of in that prime position to um, Three, two, one, go. get ahead. Okay, that was weird. I guess we can only get up on the, uh, the sand on that, but like, see how how quick that was for a, a level in a game. Like, it was ridiculous. Alright. So what are we now? 26 tied first? Okay. Tower 5, 2 laps. Like, it's very different than your standard racing game. Like, puzzle racing. I don't know... Oh. 
Yeah, so you have to oh, go to the certain colour to get up. So that's one lap. Yeah, so that's... <sighs> what I would list it as. Puzzle racing. There we go. Whew. It's tricky. It's tricky. So that puts us in first place. By like six points or something. Oh, there's... I, don't, I have no idea how many like different tracks there are in this. It's interesting. And then we're going to go this way. And, uh, oh, oh, okay. So jumping on other players gets you up as well. And squashes them so they can't. What? This is so complicated for a game. I wonder what age this is kind of aimed at. I'm in fourth place, so we're not doing too good. Uh, is this a three lap course? I'm not doing well. <laughs> I don't know if I like this or not. It's different, so I kind of enjoy that fact, if that is a reason to enjoy a game. But the rest of it, it's not overly enjoyable, like it's too complicated. The control system, I don't know. So I'm kind of on the fence about if I like this game or not. Tower 7. But it is very fast paced, which is kind of good in that aspect. No, what? See, that sucks. Alright, here we go. Oh, no. I gotta wait. Oh, who? Super complicated. <laughs> I'm third, which is shocking when you think about it that way. <laughs> okay, get here, get here, go around, get here. Alright, it's coming, so jump on this, jump across here, jump up, and across, and across. So it's now gone to three lap courses, which I find interesting that it's changed like part way through. Oh, we are so close to catch it up. Oh yeah, we are now in first place. No! Second. Not bad, not bad. Um. Definitely a challenge this game. 45. We're winning by two points. Tower 8. What? Three, two, one, go! Uh, okay, I don't get what that star did. Ah, oh, no. She jumped on me. Oh, I almost lost it there. Oh, I went the wrong way. I 
Man. Why does it have to be so complicated? We're getting there. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Oh, it's this way. Trying to be tricky there and get ahead. Ah, mm. oh, come on. We're just ahead of that other one. Oh. See, that's another thing I don't understand, like, why I get put at the back compared to some of the other characters in that spot. Oh, no. Whoa, okay. I did not know you could do that. Oh, this way. This is so complicated. We didn't win, though. <laughs> so that's also annoying. We're one point behind now. Three laps, tricky grappling. Okay. Alright. We can do this. Three, two, one, go! Ah, except he squashes me. Uh, oh, we just made it on. Oh, no. Oh, that robot guy got in front. Okay, so that's lap one. Uh, let's keep going this way. Oh. I guess if we're coming third, we're going to beat that guy that's in front of us. That's one way to look at it, I guess. Oh, no. What a cheat. Oh, no. No! Oh, that that's that's rubbish. That is rubbish. So stupid. Final one lap. Oh, this is so close. Oh, what? No. Oh, no. No. Ah. I lost it! I was on such a roll, too! Ah, <sighs> uh, that guy won. We were so close! <laughs> oh, we were so close! <clears throat> okay, okay. Okay. 
Okay. That's great. Can we move on? Oh. No, I do not want to save the game data. I guess I'm going to. Alright, well that is Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Um, it was a unique experience for me. It wasn't the greatest. I really struggled with that concept. It was very, like, tricky. Um, I do not think young kids would be able to play it. But I feel like it's aimed at young kids. So, it would be a struggle. But, other than that, I'm, we're, we're moving on. Um, I'd probably give it maybe 6 out of 10. It was it had the, those unique concepts, but it wasn't enough to really be overly amazing. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be playing Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, so look forward to that one. I am definitely looking forward to that one. But until then, guys, um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to see more content coming your way. Also, hit the bell button. That's the new thing on uh, YouTube to be notified whenever I upload a video. Otherwise, for some reason, it unsubscribes you. Anyway, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you then. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the previous video for this series, click the top left video. If you want to check out my favourite videos from my own playlists, check out the bottom one where I've compiled them all together for you to check out. And if you're not subscribed, you can hit my logo up in the top right to subscribe. Again, thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.